So we are here uh, filming from Solely Vegan at 301 Broadway, downtown Oakland, California. I'm Tamara Dyson, uh, the sole owner of Solely Vegan, and we are in the midst of COVID-19. Uh, so what was it, the second week of March, uh, businesses, restaurants, I'll speak about specifically, uh, were told to now do to-go orders only. Um, so we went from, you know, a packed house, you know, pretty much every day um, to just overnight shutdown. Um, and so business has been cut by over 70%. Um, my staff has been cut by over 70% or 80%. And, uh, and we're just dealing with it. You know, we're grateful with, we're gr very, very grateful um, for our community who, you know, who are coming out. Um, we, we're utilizing the walk-up window or now we call it the walk-up window, um, you know, right there on the side of Broadway. We're on Broadway and 3rd. Uh, never knew that window would be so important, um, but we're utilizing it right now, um, practicing the six-foot distance, gloves and masks and aprons, et cetera. Um, but we're grateful to the community that's coming out to support us. Um, we're grateful to those of you who are not coming out, who are you know, um, able to kind of um, honor the shelter in place and uh, you're staying indoors and you're ordering from Grubhub or Caviar. We, you know, we really, really appreciate you because right now, and, and we've always appreciated you. And even in this time, you know, where I'm looking at my restaurant, you know, the chairs are up. Um, the first day, um, it was just, it's traumatizing, and I'm gonna try not to get teary-eyed. So it's traumatizing to you know a business owner because a business is never just a business. It's never just business. You know, you sacrifice. I've sacrificed everything for solely vegan. My business has a name. My business has a heartbeat. Um, my business has blood and tears and emotions and feelings and love. Um, and so right now we're dealing with this time. And like I said, you know, the first day it was traumatizing, so dramatic, you know, overnight, nothing. You know, you look around, my staff is not running around here, you know, the music is not on, the drinks are not being poured, and you know, there's no hustle and bustle, and it's traumatizing. And you're just like, okay, you know, how am I gonna deal with this? Not only emotionally, but financially, you know, how are you going to survive? And as the days went on, I just started praying and kind of upping my vibration, so to speak. Um, and just positive affirmations and um, not letting myself get completely absorbed by what's happening externally, not letting myself be saddened by the physical supply in terms of financial, you know, financially. And I just started kind of directing this all kind of internal and said, okay, Tamira, who are you? Who are you? And what are you going to do? Because this is not, it's never really about the situation. It's always about the way that you handle it. And I'm a firm believer of that. And that doesn't mean that what is happening externally is not happening. It's just that you're dealing with it, you know, in the way that you choose to deal with it. And so how I choose to deal with this is positive. And I'll tell you that I wake up in the morning and I feel elated, you know? I feel, I feel um, happy. I'm in good spirits. And I even question myself, like, why do you feel so good? Literally, swear. But if I can deliver any 
sort of help, you know? And you have to be able to kind of get this and it, and it takes training, it takes time, it takes reprogramming yourself. Because as children, I really believe that, you know, we're hit with a lot of negativity. And so we have a certain tolerance and kind of expectation that things are gonna be negative. Like when people speak about reality, they're like, oh yeah, it could be that, but in reality, it's gonna be like this. But your reality doesn't have to be negative. I do believe that, you know, I am um, kind of the director of um, my experiences. So with that being said, like I said, no, I can't control what happens externally, but I can control the way that I deal with it and I don't choose to go to bed fearful. It's painful to be in fear, to be in fear, to be in doubt, to be in sadness. It's painful, physically painful. I know, you know, because obviously, you know, I've been there. I'm not a perfect human being that, you know, I, I feel great all the time. No, I have my, my moments where I just break down and then I'm like, okay, you know, back, back, back to work. And when I say work, it may not be physical work, but mental work, spiritual work. And say, okay, no, get back to your affirmations, get back to this so that you can feel good. And, you know, if I can pass on anything, um, you know, to anybody that's going to be viewing this is um, know that you can feel good in a time where everybody or the masses of people are feeling down you can react or kind of proact, so to speak, and just control the way that you handle the situation and find something, you know, find something. Maybe this is a time to, you know, develop some sort of healthy regimen. You know, maybe this is a time to kind of reconnect with your family and learn people. Um, maybe this is a time to connect with yourself and so, but I find that as I get to learn myself more and then understand the power that I have and the power that I generate to help to kind of structure my environment, you know, I don't have to be scared um, because we have a lot of power that we don't necessarily tap into because we're so controlled and so trained by what we've been taught. And we're taught, the number one thing that we're taught is fear. Um, so it, again, if I can just leave you with anything um, or share something with you, it would be just practice positive thinking. And all of us, you know, we're really the same. And I know your mind wanders because I'm still working on like meditation and, and like I said, feeling good because when I'm feeling good or when I'm in a certain vibration and something will come inside my head that says, no, you don't deserve that. or you know, this is bad and that's bad, so why are you, you know, why do you think that you can be happy? Um, but just kind of the practice of it makes it easier, like anything else, to be kind of perfect at something or to master anything, um, you have to practice. And it's the practice, getting into the practice of positive thinking for yourself. This is for you. This is not for anybody else. This is only for you. The act of positive thinking, and you'll find that your life will change um, in the opportunities and kind of the way that you deal with situations, and you'll, you'll be, you know, you'll surprise yourself. Just like I said, I was surprised at why am I waking up and I feel good. You know, look at my, what does your physical supply say that you have? Nothing. Nothing. And we don't know how long this is going to go on. You know, so why do you feel good, Tamara? You know, I feel good because I've practiced it. I feel good because I want to, I want to feel good. I choose to feel good. So I'm going to practice. You know, I'm going to practice positive thinking. I'm going to practice forward motion all the time. Never stagnant. Don't go back. Just forward, you know, positive motion. Um, and I believe in that. So that's just something that I wanted to share, um, you know, with everyone. Um, Solely Vegan, you know, gratefully has kind of become an institution um, and somewhat of a landmark. Um, and I utilize kind of the energy of my grandfather, um, even my father that I did not have a good relationship with. I utilize everything that I experienced, you know, in my past to make me a better, stronger person. So not to be, 
you know, oh, this, you know, happened to me. Why did this happen to me? But more so kind of how can I apply it just to make me a stronger person, a little bit more durable, you know, so I have, you know, more endurance. Um, I have more strength. Um, and then I even I have more love, you know. But all I'm saying is that it, the power of your mind can change a lot of situations, you know. And I'm sure that we've all experienced it in some way. If you think that you can't do something, like jump so far or whatever, generally maybe you're not going to do it. But as you grow confidence and you're like, you jump and you practice, then all of a sudden you do it. And you're like, I can't believe that I couldn't do that before. You know, it's practicing. And just like anything else, physical exercise, you have to exercise your emotions. You have to exercise your, your mental. You have to exercise your mind um, so that you can have more control over your being, over who you are and your experiences. So this is just something I wanted to share with you guys. And I hope that, you know, uh, you all can get something out of it. And yeah, so thank you. Thank you for your time. Tamira Soli Vegan here in Oakland, California, 301 Broadway. Uh, we've been here for almost 11 years and we love you guys. Peace.